Hey, Jake. You see what I got? Holy smokes, is this cushy dreams? Sure is. They're Wait, dream. Hold on to it tight. And this is this is also cushy dreams. This yeah. is their peace. If you're nervous, if you're anxious, if you have some thing hurting yourself. Life's too short to not be peaceful, mate. You can always smoke the cushy dreams. Cause smoking gets CBD into your system the best. And it's completely legal. THC, tiny bit amount, 0.3%. No one gives a shit about legal, that amount. Legal, legal CBD all helps you calm down. Whoa, my God, it's him. Becky, oh my freaking God, it's Eminem. Copyright. Oh! Go get some cushy dreams. Uh, promo code JOMBOY, 20% off. Yeah. Your next order. Doesn't have to be third, don't have to be your last. Just your next order. Cushy dreams. Go check them out. This is the pre-roll. Let this, me get some. I mean, this looks like weed. Let me or we we haven't said this in a while. If you really want to mess with a cop, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna no, have like a long no, no, no. day. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. That looks like that bud, that Kush. This is legal. Go try some it out. Smells. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Promo code John Boy. Cushy dreams. Hey guys, this week's vlog doesn't have any uh, audio on it because Sam forgot to hit a button. It's not her fault. It's not. But like it's not anyone else's fault, so um, it's Zach's fault for going to Florida, basically. Um, anyway, so we're gonna voice over what happened. So I've hit play. Oh yeah, this is us. Yeah, we were trying to set up the crime scene board, um, like in detective movies, because that's just kind of a cool visual. Right now, um, we're going through one of the first pieces of evidence, which was a collection of baseball cards. Oh, yeah, the Kratz stuff, I think. Oh, no, this is the second package that I'm looking at. Also, there was, there was a Blake Parker card in there, and I don't remember the other guys, but the first package was definitely the Kratz stuff. There's the Panda Express Panda card. Panda Express card, the Doge coin. There's a little bit of a Panda <clears throat> Express theme from the stalker throughout. There's the a letters. Panda Express and of that 70s show theme. The connection, I have no idea. And BBD is explaining this to me for the first <clears throat> time um, as we're watching this. Yeah, uh, so looking at, oh, showing him the letters because those were suspicious. So there were, there was one letter in the first week, one letter in the second week, and three letters three in the third week. in the third, and I think that third is when they were all, like, double typed, like no handwriting was shown. And I think right there I'm looking at a top five the list. Top fives, yeah. So we're looking at that. What were some of the good oh, top fives? One of those top five sensey sense. Sensey sense that becomes a very important clue later. I think there's like top five. A solid meme there. I think there's top five underrated musicians. Top five TV shows is in there. Oh, the lottery ticket. Yeah, the coordinates. The only ones that, the only arrangement of the coordinates that could have been anything was like Iraq. Everything else was various points in the ocean. And now we're doing our best to make it look like a police station detective board. Mm -hmm. So we're putting up the oh yeah, this was those cards. We weren't quite sure how we wanted to pin those up. Surprisingly, that stray hand you see on the table Not that that's just this. part of the office. That's just there always. Yeah, that actually is an evidence. We dropped stuff. It did feel a little bit like an arts and crafts project. It was kind of cool. I'm usually not that into arts and crafts. There's the first uh, air freshener, but this I enjoyed. Oh, and there's shout out Bubak. Oh yeah, Bubak followed instructions really well. And okay, uh, so there you see week one. We got Kratz at the top. Kratz. Mm -hmm. We got scented something air freshener. Baseball cards. And, and then, then below the it to the Ryan left is week ball. two. Who's the coach? Ben Spots. That's Ben Spots. He uh, is now the head baseball coach at Bridgewater State, but he was at EMU where Kratz went and where everything seems CBD looking connected. cool throwing that thing. Yeah, oh, that was a lot of fun. There was the second air freshener, which is how we knew everything was connected. What That's do you think on. you said there? I don't know. Oh, but I know those baseball cards, I, I put a pin through those and destroyed their value. And I do say if you're Blake Parker or one of the other guys in there, he's the only one whose name I know because he was a Yankee. Um, no offense, but I'm okay with uh, ruining the value there. So no offense. 
Another thing to note, the three letters that came in the last week had three different fonts. And they came from, they technically came from three different addresses. Might have to blur those out if they're uh, readable there, Zach. Because I don't don't know what they lead to. And I guess the the person might be killing us. It was like Goochville, One one of them's Goochland, Virginia. Yeah. Uh, One of them... Mechanicsburg, the t- Mechanicsburg Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. It's the campus of Messiah College. Another oh, yeah, there you see. Look at that timing, school. Messiah College. Yeah. BBD put a lot of research into these places. There was also a religion theme going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Messiah College has a great field hockey program and I think a good men's basketball team. Oh, Sam complimented my handwriting right about now. Just make sure For the record. that's on record. Oh, yeah, this is when we remembered that uh, that it doesn't stick well to the material in there. So you, gotta, you still got to pin the post. Sam, you or you got to post it at two to, to something else. Uh, yeah, Sam's right here. My input is, well, I was really just trying to channel Zach and be a good videographer. Obviously, that failed quite bad since there was no audio. I'm not mad about it. Yeah. That's what you say. But um, <laughs> I think the boys did a pretty great job putting this together. There was, I did catch live on camera BBD's um, new connection he made which may have been right about here oh that that oh it's about to happen right the air fresheners um i did just find the deer isle museum that was what the google search there was we're looking at the poetry i think it's a it might be about to happen or it was maybe a little later than this i don't know well there's the top five list in poems so i might have started looking at this here so one of the top five lists was Sensi Sense, and I didn't know what that was. And then we looked at the air fresheners or BBD. Yeah, I noticed. I didn't notice that they were branded Sensi until Sense. whatever this discovery was. It all came together, and yeah, the brand of air freshener is Sensi. So everything's here. It is. That's yes, it. Uh, I forget what the names of each were, but just trust me. Two the one had two Eskimo of them hair. overlap. Yeah, Eskimo Kiss was one of them. I think the first one we got was Eskimo Kiss, and that one. Was something else. Know, but they like were in the top name. five. Of but they, that guy's yeah, they list. were the second and third on the list. And then he sent. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be part of the vlog, but if you watch this week's JJR, they sent us another uh, air freshener that isn't on that list, and they said to throw you off the scent. And the the name <laughs> the name of the air freshener was Mystery Man. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It's, it did not smell good. Oh, we're throwing up our first suspect right about now, which happens to be Erica. Yeah, she brought in. Oh, cause she worked in Maine. Um, she also just seems like she might kill us. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and, then <laughs> and when we we told her that she was becoming a suspect, her response was, "Oh yeah, I used to work in Maine, uh, yeah, which is where the DRI museum was." Honestly, very cooperative. Super, almost too cooperative. Oh, so we did a, a handwriting check oh, on Erica yeah. to compare her handwriting to some of the uh, handwriting addressed in the letters. That's what you're seeing now. Mm-hmm. Handwriting sample. Oh, man. I'm kind of just killing these post-it notes, if I'm being honest. That's good stuff. The post-it to the post-its always good. Yeah, there's the full suspect board. Eric Eric really our only <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a funny shot. We, <laughs> we asked Eric Kratz if he did it, and he said no. I'm going to take his word for it. Uh, we're pretty sure. Well, Katie's pretty sure uh, it's a woman. Eric, so. Eric is 6'4", apparently, too, according to that shot. I think it's 64 inches, which would make her 5'4". Oh. Shit. <laughs> Cut no, that Katie, out. Katie had a pretty good profile going. She yes, Katie says. Who works at. Female works at uh, EMU. EMU. Between the ages of um, 29 and 34. Certainly in the millennial age range. Yeah, because Um, she was going off of the meme. That was a big age indicator, the Spider-Man meme. And the lottery ticket. The lottery ticket. And all of them are postmarked Northern Virginia, so I don't know. Do with that what you will. She also, there was something in the top five favorite songs that made Katie think that it was a, a female. Oh, oh no! It was a book. I don't know which book it was, um, but one of them she said, uh, "No boy oh, has uh, ever read." No, now we're doing chi at the office yesterday. <laughs> yeah, charging her chi at one D to person it. It's a good sentence right there. That is. <laughs> this is good stuff. I wasn't, I wasn't there for that. No, yeah, this is all. We didn't invite you. Trying to go above and beyond no, yeah. Zach, and it failed. No, you did. You guys did great. It's a Perfect. Lot of good footage. Any closing Thank thoughts? Thank you. Closing thoughts. Um, 
Watch JJR if you're confused by anything that we just said because yeah, they th- go through it. I think a full breakdown of it is coming on the JJTV channel. Um, and this week's episode had a lot more updates. So And get in now because the guys are getting a little scared. So we don't know how much longer this we're, letter thing will last before they just start not opening them. Because yeah, we're, we're like not, we're fully not opening stuff on JJR anymore. But like if he sends it, we're going to open it and add it to the board. But like... It's taking up too much time on the show. So. Gets a little too serial so killer Please keep so. it to one letter. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs>